let's take a look at how Test Trigger discovers new functionality in your app. When you're logged into Test Trigger, you'll be prompted to add a new application for testing. You'll want to give it a name that helps you keep track of which application you're testing. Select the type of application. In this case, we're testing a website in a desktop Chrome browser. Many applications are secured with authentication. If your site is not available to the general public and the server requires you to sign in using a pop-up dialog box before it displays the page, your site may be secured with Digest HTTP authentication. If the application is secured with the username and password, enter the credentials under app-specific authentication. In this case, there isn't any authentication to add, so we'll move on to the next section. There are many components to an app that can cause a delay. Network congestion, busy servers, or complex pages rendered in the browser can all contribute to delays. You can tell Test Trigger how long to wait before testing a page and taking a screenshot. Shorter times generally result in faster tests, and longer times are more tolerant of busy servers or complex pages. Test Trigger also allows you to control how thoroughly it explores different input combinations in the application. For now, we'll go with the default settings, but you can run faster tests by unchecking Use More Than One Combination and checking Minimal Exploration. We're going to skip over the fine tuning for now and just click Add. Enter the URL of the page that you want to test, and then click Explore. Test Trigger will go through all the functionality of the app the same way that a person would. As it does, it creates screenshots of each page and groups them together in scenarios. As each action in the scenario is performed, Test Trigger generates screenshots and sends them to the browser. The screenshots show the state of the UI before the action, the action that was taken, and the state of the UI after the action. Complex apps may have many scenarios. In this case, we're testing a very simple calculator app that will have very few scenarios. Click on any screenshot to zoom in. In this first screenshot, you can see that our demo app adds a number in the first field to a number in the second field and returns the result in the third field. In the second screenshot, you can see that Test Trigger entered 42 in the two input fields and highlighted the button it was about to click. In the third screenshot, we can see that the scenario worked as expected, correctly adding the two numbers together. When we add new functionality and we want to retest the site, we scroll back up to the top and click Retest. So now our test is run. And it looks like we've got some issues. We've got a message saying tests for the last task are failed, upload a new application. And we can see 14% had failed. And if we scroll down, we can see the failed scenario is highlighted in red. Before it was giving us three screenshots, now it's giving us four. And the last two are indicating the difference that it's seeing. In this case, it's saying that the label with text 84 can no longer be found on the screen. Apparently before it was getting the number 84 and now it's not. And so it's saying something's wrong here. So if we click on that, we see the field where 84 was expected, but we're getting 79. Test Trigger isn't testing our math. It just knows that the result field contents have changed and therefore something else has changed. That makes it fast and easy to identify changes and diagnose problems. Sign up for an account today and try it out yourself with your app or request a demo at testrigger.com.